Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to connect a standard tone dial, or rather we're going to be transplanting a tone dial into a different phone. So this is a 2831 Western Electric set. Uh, these 35 AF3A dials are very common amongst most Western Electric tone dial sets. Uh, so you can usually find them in call directors and uh, it was used in more standard business applications because these dials are also speakerphone compatible and I'll show you that in a second. And that's actually the main reason why we're transplanting this one today. So I'm just going to go through all the connections and uh, sort of how you can connect it. Um, so I know this dial works, which is the reason why I'm taking it out of this phone. This phone, um, for whatever reason, the lines aren't working correctly, and rather than sitting and troubleshooting that for a few hours, I'd rather just take the dial out of this phone. Because um, I know this one right next to me here is perfectly working. So I know that the hook switch is a bit cleaner, and I know that all of these line keys work. They go on hold. Everything's fine. This dial, though, is not speakerphone compatible. This is a newer dial, and I'm not even sure if Western Electric made this one. Um, personally, I haven't seen a ton of these dials. Usually they're in, like, ITT or something. And to me, these dials are kind of a bit more cheap. I prefer the older mechanical style dials, but these are more of a modern, almost like a, well, you can see this one was made in 83, but like all the phones you'd see in like the 90s or something would have something similar to this, or uh, even worse are those like gel buttons. Um, anyway, before I get too sidetracked. Um, ugh. And unfortunately, this dial is not standard Western Electric issue. So the wiring for this dial is different from this one. So we're going to disconnect the 35AF3A first. And I might start just moving the wires over to the next phone. So then I don't have to go back and watch my own video on how to connect it. <sighs> um, also, depending on the network connections may be made in different spots. This is a newer type network with the added terminals of um, uh, R, no, S and, and T. S and T were added later. But if you look at an older network from like a Model 500 set, they won't have an S and a T terminal. So T is for transmitter, S, I forget off the top of my head. Um, so basically, white blue is connected to S. Remove that. Um, and same thing on this one over here. White blue is on S. Orange, black, and green, white are on C, which is pretty common amongst all sets that I've seen. Uh, Usually green white is for the speaker phone though. Um, so I know, yeah, so you can see on this phone over here, there is no green white because this is a non speaker phone telephone. The dial is not speaker phone compatible. And what I mean by speaker phone compatible dial is uh, speaker phone compatible dials will also have these violet and orange leads. And that's so you can do on hook dialing. And I'm going to be making another video here after I finish filming this one on how to connect one of these cables for a 4A speakerphone into, again, this same exact set. Uh, but basically, if you have one of these phones and you have the handset hung up, you could select a line and then just simply push the buttons here and you would be able to dial, which is pretty neat. And... Uh, yeah, it definitely won't work with this dial. 
and also the princess phone dials don't do that. Uh, mostly because a princess phone, usually <laughs> you would never have a speaker phone. Um, anyway, orange is connected to terminal 29, and violet is terminal 28. And these would be uh, for the speaker phone, which I'll get into in the other video. Um, okay, and then blue is on B. There's also a black wire here, which I think is the black wire for the handset, if I remember. And then the black wire for the dial is on R, or excuse me, RR. And then red green is on R. Uh, white is on GN. And then you have an, a red wire, which is the T for transmitter. And then it's also the red wire for the transmitter, the microphone of your handset. And then you have a green wire that goes down here to the terminal board, which is... Terminal 20, I think. No, that's... That's Terminal 16. Uh, you have to look at the numbers from the top. So whatever number is above the screw. So I disconnected it from this one with this blue wire. And so that's your master tip. And... So that way then the the power for the phone is being fed through the dial so it'll power it. Um, as far as this one goes, you still have the green wire connected to that terminal 16. And white blue connected up here to S the same as the other one. Wish this there. Um, I'm just trying to get this done as fast as possible because I hate dealing with this. <laughs> the dials are one of the most extensive annoying things to troubleshoot. Especially if the oscillator gets out of whack on one of them. It's just annoying. Um... Orange black is on C, just like the other one. Black is on RR, just like the other dial. Blue is connected to B. I don't know why it keeps trying to focus on my hand. Um, white is on GN. This one seems to have a lot less wires connected to the network. Might just be me though. No, I think they messed something up. Or something's missing. Yeah, they messed something up. Because there's supposed to be a black wire for the handset connected here. But there's something wrong. <laughs> so I'll have to look at that too. Um... Uh, red green is still on R. No, let's screw that back down. Red is still on T, and they messed up the color code. Why wouldn't you just put the red wire like <laughs> the red wire should be here? Unless this is a no. Yeah, they messed it up. Um. Yeah, red wire should be there, just out of preference. Uh, it just makes sense to have the same colored wires on the terminal instead of mixing them up. 
And then this white wire coming from the hook switch goes to this keypad, which I think is a bit weird, and I'll have to figure that out. Um, usually the white wire on the hook switch is to pass tip through. Mm, okay. So, on the other phone, looking at it, the white wire from the hook switch is going to C, which this one did not have. So, to connect this new dial to this one, I'm going to put the white wire there on C, along with the orange, black, and the green, white. as remembering it from the other one. Come on. It's, sometimes these little horseshoe clips don't want to actually go on because they're getting tangled up on each other. Come on. Mm. I got the green white and then orange black. There we go. The stupid camera still. <laughs> um black is on RR. I'm just sort of randomly picking them. Blue is on B, which I'm going to investigate here why there's no black wire for the transmitter here. Let's actually do that now. So sorry I'm taking you along for this. Uh, if anybody's sitting here watching. Um, so I'm probably going to... Yeah, the... Oh, unless I'm just blind could happen, it might be, yeah, I messed that up. For a second there, I thought that it wrongly connected the ringer wire to the transmitter, which would not have made any sense. Because for anyone who doesn't know, the slate yellow is usually used for a ringer. And then there's a black wire there, but there's lots of duplicates of wires in these phones. and. When you get a rat's nest going like they usually do, it's easy to mistake them. And then, I'm just going to verify on the other phone. Where did I put transmitter? Yeah, so it looks like the transmitter is here. Which doesn't make... I mean, that makes sense. But on the other phone... No. Okay, so they've connected the wrong wires. Um... Basically, on this terminal, there should not be this red wire. This One of the handset speaker wires, which is this white one, is supposed to be there. The red one is supposed to go here on T. Along with the red wire from the dial, which I'll get. Let me just connect them both at the same time. And so, I don't know, it depends on the phone, some of them will be wired with different terminals and whatever. The configuration I'm going with right now is the most common that I've seen on a ton of phones. So, I'm just going to go with that. Um, I 
so orange, violet, and green go to the terminal board. White, blue goes to S. And I'll probably I'll go ahead and test this sucker just to make sure I gave you the right info. But um, it should work after I'm done. Red green goes over to R. mistaken I think uh, thing tight there. Um yeah so white goes to G N but there's no other wire there whereas usually another uh, transmitter wire is connected there. Or, excuse me, not transmitter, speaker. Um, is that it? No, never mind, I'm wrong. That's, uh, that's for a flash key I was seeing the wire for. Um, which this, some of the 20 button phones have a flash key wired right here, so you might see another white wire and stuff coming down. This one is not like that. Um, so white goes to GN. Glad I have a bazillion of these phones sitting around so I can just look at another one. I forgot that wire. Um, green goes to this one with the blue on the terminal board, which is, uh, 16. This one that I'm installing it in is a bit gunkier on the terminal board. And I'm just gonna um, make 100% certain that I'm connecting them correctly. So 25 is where the orange is supposed to go. Really, it doesn't matter because as long as you get your speakerphone connections correct and know what the wire should be with orange or violet, the actual terminal board here doesn't matter because these aren't going to anything. So for most people, the orange and violet can even be capped off which is the way Western Electric usually left a lot of the phones. So there we have the dial wired up inside this phone. And we're just gonna go ahead and grab this thing and go uh, plug it in here to test in my room. So, I'll go ahead and turn on my 4A, which is on my intercom. And so I, just to clarify, I'm using a 4A connected to a different phone on this same intercom. And this is my, uh, my jukebox phone. So for anyone who doesn't know, I created a intercom accessed jukebox phone. But this is also a good way to test to make sure that the dial actually works. 
because you can actually get the intercom to dial select the different uh, songs. So everything seems like it's working. Um, so now on to the next video of uh, installing the 4A uh, cable.